Thanks for like today. I had a really good day. Caught five good fish. Two bigger fish first. Pretty cool day, can't wait to get back out here tomorrow. Got similar weather pattern uh, for tomorrow. Just had an incredible spring, caught a lot of fish. Probably, honestly, as good a spring as I've had in my lifetime on local lakes. Uh, caught an 835 this year at Gunnersville. Caught that big muskie at Dewey Lake. All that stuff's on the channel. You can check those out in my other videos. Pace Lake's a small lake, about 1,200 acres. Uh, probably like most places, it gets a lot of pressure. Uh, there are a lot of guys with bass boats out there beating on them. around the spawn you seem to be able to catch quite a few good fish and you know that, that's what I was able to do this spring on several different lures really. I'm not going to show you one part, I'm not going to show you some clips. I debated posting this footage to be honest. Thanks for lake, the lake that I'm fishing here is such a small lake, about 1200 acres that it gets a lot of pressure anyway. So you can see this fish here, probably about four and a half pound, four and a half, maybe five, getting close to five. I try to boat flip her. Uh, she barely gets up over the side. But, but one thing to keep in mind here, I'm an educator by trade. I've seen more young people out fishing the last few years than probably ever in my life. So when I post these videos, one of the things that I'm hoping to do is maybe inspire that next generation of fishermen. Vividly, I came out to Plains for Lake as a kid, and that's where I got addicted, you know. But I hooked that first big bass, and, and since then, that's, that's all I want to do is chase those big fish. try different things. You know, other fishermen aren't throwing at the certain time, you know, reach out, you know, and, and try something different on your home water. 
because it could change your outcome for sure. So let's talk about the A-Rig. The A-Rig's kind of hit and miss. You know, you're not, you're not going to go out and throw the A-Rig and probably catch 100 fish, but the fish you're going to catch are going to matter. It's, it's, it catches quality bass. That's, that's what the A-Rig's known for. Um, so, you know, on these days, you're watching these, these fish catches and you think, man, you know, he's just going out there and killing them. That's not the case, trust me. Uh, I'm going out and getting five to eight bites on most days, which is a great day considering that this is Paintsville Lake in Eastern Kentucky. another fish catch here and the one thing about the Alabama rig that anybody will tell you when they hit that thing is they hit it wide open like a linebacker you know those fish are, are eating that thing to kill you know and, and one thing that I noticed as I got into the bite the more that I fish the more pressure that I put on uh, certain areas especially specific areas is that the fish at first it was short strikes and you know then they would just slap it uh, you know and, and the bite really faded out as, as you know we got closer to the spawn You know, that pre-spawn bite that I've exploited, it, it's, it's over. Uh, trust me, I've, I've banged on it. But there are a lot of nuances to this Alabama rig, just like any other lure in terms of retrieve, in terms of, you know, what, you, what swim baits you tip it with, in terms of uh, weedless, weighted, uh, you know, you name it. I've heard of a bunch of guys on Yatesville this spring doing really well on Alabama rig, and it's always around in the pre-spawn. going to give you every fish catch here. There's some things that I was throwing. It's just two hobbies what it is. And I want to keep that a secret for just a little longer. Uh, maybe I'll let that out in the future. Subscribe to the channel. I'm, I'm sure at some point uh, I'll put that up for you to see. I still miss fish catches. There's sometimes I just don't feel like fooling with the camera. I'm not gonna lie. It always seems like that'll be the moment. You know, I, I lost two huge fish and my camera was off in both moments. Uh, those fish both left the water. Uh, it's just it, incredible footage had I had my yellow tech on. So I had broken my yellow tech. I'd since replaced it. So, you know, I'm not having to fool with batteries anymore. And again, that's the main value of the yellow tech. If you have to fool with those batteries, you do like I do, you'll get frustrated. That big fish jumps, you look back at the camera and you see that it's off and it just breaks your heart that you, you missed that footage in that moment. That's the value of the yellow tech. I can't, I can't emphasize that enough. That powered source, no more batteries. You don't have to carry around a bag full of GoPro batteries. You can set that thing, get a big SD card, set that thing to go, hit record and, and always be recording.
I hope you enjoyed my footage of Paints Flight. Please subscribe, please check out the channel. Got a bunch of more stuff going up, some more tutorials, maybe a little Final Cut stuff coming next week just to give you some basics and how to, how to operate that software. Thanks for checking out the video.